Lily Gina and I'm the founder of Rank Suite. It's super exciting to be talking to you today here at um, Sheffield DM because it, it's super new, isn't it, in terms of your business? Yeah, um, literally the 17th of July, we're our one month birthday, so it's brand brand wow. new and based here in Sheffield and it's great to be around all the Sheffield marketers at Sheffield DM. What do you do then? Is it is it is it kind of across the board digital marketing or some specialisms in there? So at the moment we provide training courses and a pipeline for progression for SEOs. Okay. But we plan on making um, resources and courses for a wider range of digital marketers. It's just SEO is my bread and butter. So that's, you've got to start where you know, really, haven't you? You've uh, slightly kind of hinted an answer to what I was going to ask you next, which is a bit about your background and your journey that's kind of led you to the point of, of launching your business. Yes. Yeah, so um, I've been SEO for, I have no idea how many years. I've worked at a lot of local staples, such as formerly JPI Media. I think it's National World now. Yep. Twinkle, the SEO works, and then I start. I've always just kind of fallen into doing learning and development work, so it just felt like a natural progression for me to go on and launch something that's kind of a combination of my two like loves, like training, learning, and SEO and digital marketing. This is a, a horrible question to ask someone just like a month into things, but how's it going? It's going. <laughs> it's just got to work out that's that's all I can really say like we're set up there's a lot of resources and courses and now it's just a I've just got to market it exciting times exciting times and uh, obviously I wish you all the very best of luck with it and uh, can't wait to kind of follow the uh, progress now it's on to the really exciting stuff uh, because this is DM69 we have 11 balls in the bag 10 of them numbered 1 to 10 they correspond to a question ball 69 don't know what happens if you pick ball 69 out just make something up so are you ready to delve into the bag and pick out the uh, the number feels very like pick a mix I'm very excited you can see it's very high budget uh three so you've got ball number three uh so your question and some of these are a bit less serious than others some are quite taxing marketing questions uh yours yours is not so what was your best and worst subject at school oh this is so up my uh, alley to be honest so i've I was really, really terrible at maths. I have dyscalculia, so it's like dyslexia, but, but for numbers. Right. And I was beyond terrible. Did uh, they make allowances for that? I wasn't diagnosed until college. Oh, the wow. The four times I failed my GCSE maths, uh, no one wanted to look into that it. That must have been so hard. Yeah, it was awful. It's so weird now because I love working with numbers, data and spreadsheets. Right. But, you just um, learn how to kind of deal with it and, I don't and make know, it work for you, I guess. A little bit. It's a case of if I can do it in a spreadsheet, it makes sense. Yeah. If you ask me to do any any math, will not work. The way the way we do math at school is is daft, isn't it? Because it is like it's 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 hard work. It's a test. Whereas in the real world, it's so much easier. Like we use calculators because we have them. Like the idea of saying to people, you can't use a calculator for maths. Well, why? Like in the real world, you absolutely do. Uh, and you just find a way of making things work for you. Um, I can relate to you a little bit because sometimes if I, um, particularly if I've got to read uh, like a lot of numbers to someone, and I look at them and they stop being numbers. And I'm, I, I, I've never seen these characters before. I don't understand what's on this page in front of me. Um, so yeah, that must be really, really difficult. What, what are the other end of the scale and what, what were you really good at what did you love at school there's a lot that I liked English was quite fun I um, we had a really cool teacher and I think that's why I liked it she was really awesome she was from somewhere down south and she called everyone cheeky little ferret <laughs> she was just like very cool and creative and she made things very very interesting and we got to write a lot of like speeches for some reason. We did loads of speech writing. Okay. And it was it was just so cool and fun, and I really enjoyed that. But I feel like those are two kind of boring answers. But no, they're really, uh, that's really interesting. So um, you're experienced at writing speeches. Have you found a way of putting this into everyday use yet? No, no, not at all. <laughs> but I, I speak in a very unplanned and unstructured way. But now I, I probably should try and remember things uh, from from back then. But I also I, I feel like 
everybody in the UK who studied English has the same like shared memory. Do you remember like the um, anthology poetry thing that we all got in the big purple book and yeah. things like that? It just is the subjects that makes me feel nostalgic now. Mm. No, that's interesting. That's really, really interesting. Brill. Okay. Um, finally, if anyone wants to find out more about your business, find out more about you, uh, what's the best way for them to do that? Um, so you can find me anywhere online, essentially, um, as Billy Gina, or you can go on Rank Suite, which is ranksuite.io. And if you are listening, fancy it, um, here's a cheeky little discount code of ChefDM15. Thank you very much for your time. It's been yeah. great to chat to you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.